Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge. And in today's video, I'm going to take you along with me through my process of packing for our next big family adventure. And we're leaving tomorrow. We're headed to the UK and to France with a stop at Disneyland Paris. So today I'm packing up all these snacks, activities, and clothes for six people. Now for me, this is the ultimate game of Tetris because I'm getting to figure out how to fit in all of our essentials. And that's a challenge because each member of the family is only taking one carry-on size suitcase and one backpack. Oh yes, and we're going to be traveling for almost an entire month. Now last year we went on our very first international trip as a family. We visited areas of England and Scotland and we had such an amazing time. Now, if you missed that adventure, I'll go ahead and link that video down below. This time, we're going to be seeing totally new things. Now, while we're there, we're also going to be road tripping up to Wales, and then we're gonna drive over to Cornwall. Now, the thing I'm most excited about is getting to take the Eurostar to Disneyland Paris. So come along with me today as I pack it all up, and hopefully it's all gonna fit. Now, even though I'm packing everything today, I've been collecting things for quite a while and I like to keep them all organized in these different baskets. So we have things for packing snacks. We have snacks themselves. I have the kids electronics with their chargers and all the cords that they need. We have other snacks back here. Whaley tree bag full of wet products. I have a bin full of activities we have a bin full of our important documents that we cannot forget and then i also have some emergency clothes and i'll tell you more about those when i pack the kids backpacks i'm also sticking this bag in my backpack i call this my mary poppins bag because this is filled with lots of different items that we might need while we're on the plane so things like medicine wipes gum mini toothbrushes cough drops, water flavoring, stain remover, and tissues. Okay guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and start with our snacks first. Our flight is nine hours and some food is provided, but we don't really know what that food's going to be. And from our last experience, I definitely wanna pack more snacks than I did last time. First up for the kids snacks, I'm going to be throwing in one of these turkey and cheese Uncrustable Bites. So these aren't like your PB&J Uncrustables. These ones actually have a meat and a cheese and it comes in this soft little bread roll. We're going to be heading to the airport super early because I do not like to rush. So as soon as we get through security, this is going to be the perfect snack for the kids. To go along with that, I'm also giving each of the kids one of these crustless sandwiches. These are basically a cheaper version of an Uncrustable. Last time we were on the plane, my picky eaters were not fans of the food. So if that's the case of this time they can have a pb and j and then you guys each person in the family is going to bring one of these snack towers and this is not only going to be great for on the plane but they're also going to be handy the whole time we're traveling now for this journey in the larger section i'm going to fill that up with two different types of grapes now we love traveling with fresh fruit and as long as you eat it all before you get to your destination you shouldn't have a problem i know a lot of airplane snacks and foods are not the healthiest so i'm happy to know that at least we'll have one fruit with us in the next section i'm going to fill that up with some baby carrots and some celery and to go along with these veggies i'm also going to throw in this little travel sized ranch packet and you guys these technically count as a liquid so i'm actually going to be putting these in the kids liquid bags and then after we go through security, they can move them to their snack bag. Next, I'm throwing in a protein, and we really love these zero sugar added little jerky sticks. I am gonna go ahead and cut these up just so that they fit better in our snack towers. And then all I have to do is screw all of these pieces together. And I really like the idea of having these containers with us. Like I said, that way I can refill them with snacks and we can use them on all of our travels, not just our flight. 
Now to keep all of these things organized, I'm going to pack them in these clear bags. Now I found these on Amazon and I absolutely love them. Each person in my family has a designated color. That way we can tell whose belongs to who. And in here, I'm also gonna pack a bunch of other snacks. Cause like I said, this flight is going to be long. And then once we get to London, we have even more traveling to do. First, I'm adding in the PB&J Uncrustables. On top of that, I'll add in the turkey and cheese ones. Now for a fruity treat, I'm also gonna throw in these fruit rolls. And these are kind of like a cross between a fruit leather and a fruit by the foot. These come in lots of different fruit flavors and they don't have any added sugar. Next, I'm adding in a granola bar, but these ones have some added protein. And then my kids requested these specifically. These are just a little pouch of their favorite type of goldfish, the cheddar blasted ones. And then you guys, I also like to throw in at least one of these water flavor packets. This is the strawberry lemonade flavor. And what we like to do is travel with these collapsible water bottles. Now, of course we take them empty and then after we get through security, the kids will fill them up. And if the water doesn't taste the greatest, they can go ahead and add in that strawberry lemonade packet and everybody will be happy. Now for my snacks and for my husband John's snacks are pretty much the same. My husband prefers more protein, so he's getting more jerky sticks, but I'd rather have grapes. In my second section, I'm adding plenty of baby carrots, but for my husband, I'm adding baby bell cheese. And then in my last little section, I'm adding these dill pickle cashews. I love these things. They are so good. But then in John's section, he's getting this pina colada snack mix. This has cashews, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. For our snacks to go in, we also have these little clear pouches. These can also serve as a lunch box for any of the days where I want to pack a lunch. This has just enough room for the snack towers and a few extras on the side. In here, I'm also going to be adding these packs of Dilly Bites. We both love pickles and these are so good on a flight. Next, I'm adding a couple of these skinny rice bars. These are made with like a puffed rice cereal, but then they also have dried fruits and nuts in them. I get this big bag at Costco and they're just a really nice crispy, but not too sweet of a snack. And then lastly, I have just enough space to add in one of these double chocolate muffins. And these ones actually have zucchini on the inside. So they're like a hidden veggie muffin. And that is it. We have nine hours on the plane, but we have to get to the airport several hours early. I definitely think this is gonna be enough snacks. Next up, I'm sharing the activities that I'm packing for my kiddos, but this time I'm definitely packing a lot less. Our flight is leaving around 8 p.m., so that's kind of a red eye for us. I'm hoping that the kids will get plenty of sleep on the plane instead of playing with activities all night long. Oh yes, and our plane will have a screen, so if they want to, they could also watch movies. But once we get there, we're also gonna be traveling by train and by automobile, so I wanted to get activities that the kids could enjoy during all of our travels. Most of these items are from Amazon, but some are from Target. I tried to find specific things for each kid, but I also wanted to get things that they could share and that multiple kids would enjoy. With Griffin and Lily in mind, I picked up this travel set of markers, and these are the type that don't make a mess. And this carrying case also has room for paper and all of the pens. Next, with Griffin in mind, I picked up this hidden Hogwarts scratching activity. Now, if you've never seen these types of activities before, they're really fun, but they can get kind of messy, but that's okay because I always like to travel with a pack of baby wipes for cleaning up messes. Now, this next book I got because I thought all of my kids would enjoy this. 
This is kind of like a Disney version of a Where's Waldo book. And since we are going to Disney, I thought this would be perfect. This book isn't very heavy. And it doesn't take up a ton of space. On each of the pages, they have different items and characters that they're supposed to spot. Like I said, I think all the kids could take a turn with this book. Now with Lily in mind, I did go ahead and get this really cute cat and dog coloring book. She has really been into more advanced style coloring books recently, so I know she's gonna love this. And to go along with it, I'm also packing one pad of colored pencils, and this is actually to share with any of the kids that want to color. Oh, and I love that these colored pencils come with this case, so they're not gonna be rolling around everywhere as we are traveling. Then for my youngest two, I also got this Who Was Queen Elizabeth II book. We are going to be touring Buckingham Palace while we're in London, so I thought this book would help them kind of understand a little bit more about Queen Elizabeth and just a lot of royal history. Next, for my Lego-loving girl, I picked up this Dots bracelet kit. And you guys, these are really fun. They don't take up a lot of space. And this is just a really fun, a simple activity that's not too difficult to do while traveling. Now, with my son Jackson in mind, I picked up this IQ puzzler kit. Now, what I like about this game is that it's meant for traveling, so it comes with a little kit to keep all of the pieces together. Basically, it comes with all of these little marbles, which are not magnetic. And then there are puzzle cards where you're supposed to follow and build the pattern. Now, my kids are pretty old, so I don't need to worry about them trying to eat these. But if you have little kids, this might not be the activity for them. Another reusable item I know all the kids will enjoy is this mini Etch-A-Sketch. In fact, I think this is a fun activity too. I might play with this myself when we're on the train. Another great travel game is this Magnetic Checkers and Tic-Tac-Toe set. This game set is really lightweight and all the pieces are magnetic, so they're not gonna be falling off the board when we're moving around. Oh yes, and I love that this has its own carrying case to keep everything organized. Next, with my girls in mind, I picked up this Harry Potter paper doll book. And you guys, this is really cute because the Harry Potter style is more like an anime style, which I love. And yeah, I get to see both of my girls really enjoying this book. Now, you guys saw the coloring book I got for Lily, but for Mackenzie, I picked up this Nightmare Before Christmas one. When we're going to be at Disneyland Paris, I know we're going to see all kinds of Halloween decor. So it's the perfect season for this type of coloring book. And then all also, with Mackenzie in mind, I picked up this London book. But you guys, this one is actually a guide for all of the curious hidden history that you can find in the city. Now, if you've never been to London, there are so many little hidden gems and historical places that you might not notice as you walk by unless you know it's there. So this book is all about where to find these places and the history behind them. And then for all of the kids, I picked up this small pack of scented Play-Doh. And yes, I do travel with Play-Doh. It's actually not that messy and it's a really good sort of calming fidget type activity. And then of course, each kid also has either a tablet or a phone, which they do have downloaded movies and music that they can listen to. And then to go along with that, each kiddo also has their own set of headphones and chargers. And I went ahead and labeled everything just so we would know whose was whose. Now, as far as suitcases go, we are using the same ones that I bought for our trip last year. And so far, these have held up pretty well. You can see there are some dents and scratches and things like that, but overall, not too bad. But then for the kids' backpacks, I did go ahead and upgrade them to these larger ones. Now these backpacks I found on Amazon and I really like their size for the kids. They're not too big, but they're not too small either. They're supposed to be water resistant. And what I really like is this large section here that you can almost pack like a suitcase. So these can carry a lot if we need them to. Now these bags also have a section for the kids' laptops or their tablets. There's also a little wet bag section so all of their toiletries can go in here. And if something does leak, it shouldn't get the rest of the bag wet. I also like that these backpacks have a little trolley slip so the kids can put them on their rolling suitcases if they get tired of carrying them. And then these also have a little chest clip in the front to help distribute the weight. Now, as far as my backpack goes, I did upgrade as well. This is a Vera Bradley backpack. 
and I just love the print and color. But this one is also more like a suitcase, so I can definitely add any extra clothes in here that I need to. I also have room in here for my purse, that way I don't exceed the two carry-on limit. And then right next to that, I have my tech bag. And you guys, this is where I keep all of my chargers and electronics, my cords, my earbuds, everything I might need that's sort of a technology item. Oh yes, and I even have my UV lamp so I can do my nails on the go. I'll go ahead and zip up that section. Over on the other side, I have more storage for clothes. And in here, I just put a couple of really soft sweaters. In this front section, I have an area for my compression socks. I love to wear these on the airplane. And then just to be safe, I also carry a pack of disinfecting wipes, also handy when you're traveling. Now in this other section, I have this little pink flat contraption. And this is actually a bendable phone stand. So if I wanna watch anything hands-free, I can just put this on my tray table and set my phone on there. And then in this section, I like to keep my planner. This also functions as my notebook. So if I need to write down any numbers or plans, I can do that in here. Then I always like to travel with at least one pencil and one pen and a Sharpie. And then in the bottom of this section, that's where I'll put my snack bag. Last but not least, I'll stick my umbrella in my bag and that is everything. Next up, let's talk about clothes. And this was a real struggle for me. Now, just like last year, I started by pulling out a bunch of different options for the kids. I did have to go out and find some pants and jackets and just warmer things in general. We're not used to having to wear that type of thing in Florida. So once I had out all of the different options, the kids did go ahead and try things on just to make sure that they fit and that they like them. And then I'm trying to be as minimal as I can with the outfits because I do want to leave some room in the kids suitcases in case we bring back souvenirs. But basically for clothes, each kid has a dedicated traveling outfit. So whenever we're flying somewhere or taking the train or on our road trip day, these are the outfits that they're gonna wear. They're super comfortable, they're durable, and they don't wrinkle. And then to organize their clothes, each kid has a designated color of packing cube. And I love packing cubes. They don't necessarily save space, but they do help to keep everything organized because we are gonna be moving from place to place to place. So we're gonna have to repack all these things multiple times and want it to be easy. And I wanna try to avoid forgetting anything. So basically each kid has a nicer outfit that they can wear if we go out to a restaurant or something like that. They also have at least three tops, two bottoms, and then since we are going to Disneyland, I've also included a few Disney shirts and Disney hoodies, things like that. Now, unfortunately, even though we have quite the collection of Minnie Mouse ears and a couple of lounge flies, so we're not bringing any of these because I wanna save space, in case we find something at Disney Paris that we wanna bring back. And then in a separate packing cube, that's where I put the kids' pajamas, their socks, their undies, things like that. Oh yeah, so each kid is also having an outer coat in case it gets really cold. Now my youngest kiddo, Griffin, does have quite a lot of space left in his suitcase. So that's where I'm actually gonna put all of our hair tools. And that brings me to one of our pre-trip traditions and that is haircuts for all the kids. Now I took my girls to my favorite stylist at Ulta and they both lost quite a lot of inches and Mackenzie got an entire makeover complete with a new set of bangs. I think these haircuts turned out really cute. Now to keep all of the hairs styled and looking good, I am bringing a few extra things in this bag. I have my favorite hair drying brush and my curling iron. And then in the top section, I have a straightening iron, a brush, a home and all the accessories that we're gonna need. And then as far as my suitcase goes, I do have one big packing cube that is full of clothes. 
and everything else that doesn't fit in here I'm putting in my backpack and then I really want to bring two different shoes something more comfy that I'm going to wear on the plane but then also something more dressy because I love to wear dresses and skirts so I got these boots and to make sure the bottoms don't get everything else dirty I've just placed a little shower cap on the bottom and then lastly in my suitcase I also have my gigantic makeup bag but there's not just makeup in here First up in this little clear pouch is where I keep all of my liquid type makeup. I'm actually gonna keep this in my backpack until after I get through security. Right under that, I have my travel mirror. A lot of the times where we stay, there's only one bathroom. So it's important that I can get my makeup on and get ready somewhere outside the bathroom. Next, I have some makeup wipes, a couple of palettes, and then this section over here has the perfect amount of space for all of my brushes, my eyeliner, my eyebrow pencil, and my concealer. And then over on this side, I have all of my extras. First, I have my eyeglasses and contacts case. I could not see without these, so these are very important. And I love that this case can keep them all together. Next, I have my travel razor and my beauty blender, and then a couple of travel hangers. I love to travel with dresses and skirts, which definitely get wrinkled, and not every place provides hangers. So I'm just bringing a couple of these in this section. I also have enough space for all of my nails, so I can do my nails on the go. And then I have just enough space for my travel jewelry organizer. So in here, I have plenty of space for my earrings, for my bracelets, and things like that. I don't travel with super fancy jewelry but I do like to have certain things for certain outfits and then in this last little section I have a couple of reusable makeup erasers some tweezers a nail file and a comb now when it comes to toiletries and liquid items, I basically pack them all together, but each person has their own color-coded bag. Now I did find these on Amazon as well, and these are a smaller version of the larger size bags that we're all using for our snack. The burgundy bag is Mackenzie's, the purple one belongs to Lily, the green one is Jackson's, and the blue one is Griffin's, but we also have some extra items in his bag because he has extra space. So in Griffin's bag, I'm adding a Tide pin and the kids' flossers. Next, I'm adding shampoo and body wash. Each kid likes something different, so I just have a travel size amount for each kid. And then to style the hair, the boys will be sharing this styling wax, and for each of my girls, they're getting a hairspray. Now, because they all have long hair, I cannot forget the leave-in conditioners. The white one is also a heat protectant spray, which is important. And then because we are gonna be on the go, I'm also throwing in some dry shampoo. Next up, I'm adding some deodorant and a couple of these nice to have items. So I have things like sunscreen, blister cream, and anti-chafing cream. We're gonna be doing a lot of walking and we're gonna be outside. So these things are going to be needed. Next up, I have a couple of different types of toothpaste. We're definitely gonna need to buy more of this along the way, but this is a good amount to get started. And this is enough toothpaste that the kids can share. Next, I'm throwing in a travel toothbrush for each kiddo, also color coordinated. And then something I like to have on the go is some hand sanitizer. And I got a cute little holder for each kiddo. Jackson's is the turtle, Griffin's is the Game Boy, Lily's is the cat, and Mackenzie's is the flowered one. Because airplanes can be super drying, I'm also throwing in some chapstick. For Jackson and Griffin, they are getting the Marvel version. And for Mackenzie and Lily, they are getting the Disney version. Next, I'm throwing in a comb for both of my boys. That way they can style their own hair. And then for Mackenzie, since she just got bangs, she requested a little comb that she can fluff up her bangs with. Now outside of the toiletry bag, my girls also have a hair accessory bag. And this is where they can keep their headbands and their brushes. Uh, Mackenzie does have a little bit of makeup, so she can keep that in here as well. And if we do end up running out of space, we are bringing one of these collapsible duffel bags that we can fill up with clothes. And I also plan on bringing a couple of these travel compression bags too. These are the type that you can squeeze out all of the air and save some space. You don't need a vacuum for these ones. And these are gonna be perfect for on the way home because it's not gonna matter if our clothes get all wrinkly if we're just going home. 
Okay friends, I hope you found this video interesting. I actually really enjoy doing all this organization and this packing. And I hope that if you are planning a trip that you might be able to use any of these packing ideas yourself. And you guys, if you have any suggestions on places we should go or things that we should do in the UK or in Paris, please let me know down below because we don't have everything planned out yet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.